Hey, and welcome back to the channel. So season five is out and I thought I'd make an updated video on how to install Warzone on your Windows 10 PC. It's been a while. I made a lot of fixes and I'm hoping there's fewer issues with this new version. But anyways, let's get started. I can open up my browser. Uh, I'm using Google Chrome and instead of going to the Warzone site, what you're probably going to want to do is just go directly to the Battle.net website. I'm going to put this link in the description so it's easy to follow. And what we want to do is download the Battle.net app. So it's right up here. There's a link in the top corner. Just click on it and it's going to start to download onto your computer. It takes a few minutes here. It's very small, four and a half megs. Uh, you can go ahead and click on the install option here. So you get a prompt here, just say yes to it. And it's going to start downloading and it, then it's going to install the app. So it's going to ask for your username and password, or you can log in with your Facebook, Google, or Apple account. I use my Google account because it's just easier for me, but you can use whatever you want. Click on that, and then it's going to ask you to sign in, and it's automatically going to do it if you're already signed in. I'm already signed in, so that's why it's doing it. Okay, so here we are at the main screen for the Blizzard Battle.net app and you have all the popular games that you can install right away. And the one that we're looking for is Warzone and it's right here, it's at the top. This is the new season, season five just came out. So I'm gonna click on it. And then we have the option on the left-hand side to install. So we can just click on that. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you got the name and the content. You can modify this installation by clicking on this. To install the app, it's going to require 97.6 gigs. So that's a huge game. You want to make sure you have that space. So click on confirm. And then if you want to change the install location. So if you don't have enough space on your main drive, which is typically your C drive, you can click on the change folder and then you can select another drive that's on your computer or another folder. Uh, maybe you have an external drive that you want to install it on. Now, if you're going to install it on an external drive, uh, you want to make sure it's at least USB 3 or has some sort of SSD connection uh, because you need to have the full speed. I recommend installing it on your main disk if possible. And then below you have the option to change the language. You can change it to English or you can have a variety of different languages here that you can select. And below that you have the auto update enabled and create a desktop shortcut. So you can have those checked. I like to leave them on so it's always up to date and it does updates overnight. Uh, I leave my computer on all the time. Usually I'm mining, so that's happening. And then when you're ready to go, you can click on the start install button and it's gonna go ahead and download all the files that it needs. Now this is 97 gigs or around 97 gigs. It's a huge file. It's gonna take some time. I have a pretty good internet connection so it's gonna download somewhat fast, but even for me, it's gonna take some time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause the video from here and I'll jump to the end where it's completed. And now it's done and we have the play icon lit up now and now we're ready to log in. So I'm just gonna click on the play button. It's gonna launch and we'll let it go. There we go, it's loading up. And I'm just gonna minimize the Battle.net app and let it take up my screen. There we go. So we're at the login screen for season five. It's just going to connect, do any patch updates that it has to, and we're ready to start playing. <laughs> so it needs an update, of course. So I'm going to shut it down, let it do its update. <laughs> okay, that was short-lived. Anyways, um, it's going to do its update. It has to run in the background. I'm assuming it's doing it right now. I don't see any status bars here. Okay, so the play lit up now, so I'm gonna just click on play again, and let's see if it's done. And here you have it. Here's Warzone Call of Duty Season 5 on a Windows 10 PC. We're up and running, we're ready to play. And it's a good time to mention that I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. So I'm trying to get to that next level 10K. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and help me grow. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.